What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now ladies and gentlemen, today's video is absolutely massive, massive for Modern Warfare 3 because Sledgehammer has finally done something that I've been waiting for a very long time to be done. I've been wishing, wishing there would be a meta shift within this game for ages now, and I'll be honest, they have done phenomenal with going ahead and patching the weapons across the board, you know, buffs, nerfs, all of the above, and honestly, you know, they feel really fun when it comes down to the variety of weapons in the game. I, you know, I can't lie to you guys. I, I use a lot of different stuff in this game. I would still say, yeah, you can kind of feel a meta is still there, but does it make me feel like I'm forced to pull away from the rest of the variety? No, you know, not at all. In the beginning of the game, yeah, I felt like I had to use an MTZ, you know, the Holger, all that stuff, MCW, 1,010%, or I was going to lose every gunfight. Now, not even close. So I have to give two thumbs up to Sledgehammer for balancing out the weapons in multiplayer. But I still wanted some type of meta shift because even though everything's balanced across the board, the meta guns that were there before are still extraordinarily dominant, still current date. And season one didn't really shake anything up, you know? We got an SMG, we got an AR, and they were fun to use. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed them. But I still felt that the meta that was in place is still stupidly absurd, you know? There were fun weapons to use, but if you go into the multiplayer experience, you still won't really see them that frequently. But season two, these two weapons that dropped, the F2000 and the RAM, have just absolutely changed the game in every way, shape, and form. And I guarantee that they're going to go ahead and, you know, do a few changes to these weapons. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and dive deep on that topic on what I think should be done personally to maintain the fun factor of these weapons, but at the same time, balance them out. But boy, oh boy, if you do not try these things out right now, you are missing out on probably some of the most fun that you will have in multiplayer. The F2000 is freaking ridiculous. I picked it up off the ground one singular time before I unlocked it. And I knew from the second I picked it up with no attachments, the thing was going to be a demon. And of course, I went ahead. I built it up. I got my class set up right on the screen for you guys. I decked it out a little bit more for horizontal recoil and, you know, gun kick, so on and so forth. I don't really worry about ADS speeds in this game, if I'm going to be honest with you guys. The base ADS speeds for all the Model for 3 guns are really good. Same thing with the strafe speeds, all of the above. So I always hyper-focus recoil attachments on the mass majority of all the Model for 3 weapons. Model for 2 weapons, on the other hand, that's a kind of a different story. But Model for 3 guns, yeah, I don't really worry about that stuff too, too much. And let me tell you something. The F2000, the strafe speed on this weapon, I don't know what the heck is going on, but it's absolutely absurd you you fly at the speed of light and if you put the stalker perk on on top of this weapon it feels like og modern warfare 3 and it makes me sad because you know honestly that's what stalker should feel like across the board that's the problem with stalker you know each gun has different variables which affect the stalker you know perk whereas back in the day with modern warfare 3 you didn't have 50,000 attachments affecting your gun so stalker just had a base speed across the board they need a base speed you know, for Modern Warfare 3, that feels fast enough. But, you know, I'm not talking about perks in today's video. I'm talking about the F2000 and the SMG. The F2000 is ridiculous. It has basically no recoil, hence why I decked out the horizontal recoil, because that's really all it has. You know, pulling down with this gun takes no effort whatsoever. I've tried it on multiple different large maps to make sure that I can still nail my shots at long range. And yes, indeed, I can nail my shots, and I can nail them better than ever. And the fire rate on this thing mixed with no recoil... And the damage range is, <laughs> the combination is absolutely busted. And like I said, even if you don't run the stalker perk and you don't have ADS attachments or strafe speed attachments and, you know, you just have the gun decked out for recoil like you see right here, the strafe speed is still ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I feel like I can outgun SMG players with ease, while at the same time engage with AR players and LMG and sniper players at long range and still be able to compete because I can outstrafe them times 10. Like, I'm literally flying past them, and I can make myself a much harder target to hit, while at the same time having pinpoint accuracy because there's no recoil. It is insane. But this is the thing. I feel like... They're going to look at the F2000 and say, this is way too ridiculous. We have to just make it the worst thing in the world. And I'm worried that they're going to hyper-focus the recoil on top of the damage range. I think the only thing that they should touch with this weapon is the damage range. That's it. I really enjoy the F2000 this time around 
being a laser beam type of gun. It feels extremely good. It sounds extremely good. And having that fast fire rate just feels phenomenal. The problem is, is that it kills so insanely fast at all ranges. That damage plus the fire rate that you have, plus the mobility of the weapon, you are dealing with one of the, the craziest things I've seen in this game. And on top of that, you don't even have to use a scope. The iron sights are so crisp on this weapon. That's the one thing that I'm really enjoying about the season. Both the guns, the iron sights are phenomenal. You don't have to waste an optic you know, part and you can use that attachment slot on something more valuable for yourself. And I adore that because, you know, I got to be honest, it's been a while since I've really enjoyed some iron sights on the weapon in a COD game. And these ones are just, <laughs> they're so nice, man. If you haven't grinded for the F2000 yet, you are missing out on an absolute banger. Up next, we have the Ram SMG. Now, this gun is fantastic. I wouldn't say it's better than the F2000. The F2000 truly is the star of the show here when it comes to to season two. That thing is just, my goodness, talking about a demon. That is a demon. But the Ram is a perfect competitor for the SMG scene, and I could see this easily slipping its way into the top three, top four weapons you want to use in the SMG category. And again, I'm beyond excited for this because SMGs have been hit for so long because, again, we haven't had that much variety when it comes to maps. We've been playing on all of the OG Modern Warfare 2 2009 maps, and back in the day, the time to kill was faster, the SMGs killed quickly, you know, having the current SMG build that we have now with 150 HP on massive maps from back in the day that were meant for faster time to kills is not the best recipe here, and it makes the gameplay a bit rough, and yes, they have worked around a few other SMGs, I still feel like the Rival and the Swarm dominate so much of the category, you know, when it comes to the SMGs. Of course, the AMR is really good now. You know, I have a ton of fun with that gun. The UMP is really fun. The Striker 9 is always phenomenal to use. But again, competitive-wise, I feel like the Swarm and the Rival just outweigh so many other factors. And the Ram fits right up that alley. It's phenomenal. And honestly, I don't really think it needs any nerfs. Of course, you guys go down in the comment section and let me know if you guys think this gun needs a nerf or not, you know, I'm curious what you guys have to think, but I think it's in a perfect spot, the damage isn't too absurd in my personal opinion, you know, it's supposed to be an SMG, not an AR, and I feel like I'm still beaming people at decent ranges, I'll be real, the recoil pattern is not shabby, you know, you might have to bounce it out a tad bit, and you might have some trouble once again at long range, but it is an SMG, but man, even with the attachments you can put on, it makes it still like a beam, it's fantastic to use, it feels very Fun. The fire rate is perfect. It's exactly what we needed for variety. We asked for variety when it comes to the weapons. They went ahead, they worked over, they you know nerfed and buffed a bunch of the guns to make them more balanced. And then they added in two more weapons that are just extremely dominant to add into the mix to shake up the meta a little bit. I am extremely happy with this. And I hope that Sledgehammer continues with this effort and continues to try to balance out the whole game because they're doing a great job with it. I just hope that, you know, future content, future weapons don't go unnoticed because again, season one, I don't want to say it was a bit rough. I feel like the Storm Ender got a decent amount of love before it got nerfed down. You know, the, the SMG was pretty cool, but the, the Ram AR, I feel like that didn't get too much. It was fun. It was a fun AR, but the problem is it wasn't stupidly competitive you know and when something isn't as competitive during the time people are going to bounce back to other items so they can actually get streaks and play better it's just how it is so you know to have the f2000 as a very viable weapon but it doesn't feel like it outweighs all the other guns to make them non-usable they did a great job introducing this and i hope they are able to do that in the near future because that's hard to do, right? Can't we all agree on that? Usually the guns are either stupidly way too overpowered and nothing can compete. And if you want, if you use anything else, you're just going to die 50,000 times to the DLC gun. Or it's absurdly underpowered and you're wondering to yourself why I'm even bothered grinding for this. You know, for the first time they've introduced a weapon that competes, that is extremely fun to use, very viable in a lot of situations, but it doesn't make me feel like I should stray away from other guns as well. You know, I can still use the MTZ, the Holger, MCW, the SVA, the DG, the FAMAS, you know, all those other guns are still viable and I still 1,010% will use them even though the F2000 is out. 
Uh, bravo, Sledgehammer. I mean, I got to give it to you guys. It, it, pretty good job here, man. And I'm very thankful for the meta shift. And I really hope they can keep spicing up the gameplay like this in the near future. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like. If you hated it, leave a dislike. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell if you want to be notified for more content just like this. And of course, last but not least, if you are interested in any live streams, I do that daily besides Sundays over on Kick. You can find a link to that down in the description of this video. But as always, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.